So we're going to talk about part two of wandering and why people like to wander because they like to exercise. But you have a problem, you can call 1-800-936-6033 or you can text me at 604-813-8423. But changes in the brain may mean they are not able to exercise the proper judgment and reasoning to do things safely. When your loved one, your wife or husband or anyone, their partner, when you see their behavior is not very reasonable, then you might like to contact the family doctor. So how do you reduce the risk of wandering? You examine the immediate environment. You walk with a caregiver or friend. You consider using a technology like a bell that signal when a door is open or sound sensitive monitor to keep track when a person is in home. Wear one of those machines. Nowadays, it's technology increased. It's getting better and better. Reduce triggers. What are triggers? Triggers are like this. On one side is all the the other side is stress. So you have either too much boredom, boredom, or too much stress. So how do you balance? It's like a up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Reduce the triggers. Too much stress, too much thinking, and allow the person to reduce wandering behavior. What happens when someone is agitated, restless, gets things to do, do some craft? art, make something, go around, pick up some garbage. Exercise. Exercise is really useful. You can go to the mall if it's cold. So speak to the doctor or provider and see what kind of program they can do. Develop meaningful activities. Engage the person to talk and communicate. Involve the person, like, do some kitchen activities or, like, making breakfast, folding laundry, or turning garbage into something useful. See, it's always boredom, like this. Make them go back up. Increase their activity. Make a record of what they are doing. Useful things are how long did the behavior last. Get them to relax and settle down. Establish community connection. Talk to people and see how they are. If the person is living in residential care, you should talk to the facility to reduce the risk of walking around, wandering around. To be prepared, preparation, prevention is always much better than cure. 